Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Hello, welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. We are at Dell Technologies World. This is our third day of coverage. As John has been saying, this is a, a canon. Double a canon. Double canon of <laughs> CUBE content. We are pleased to welcome back a couple of alumni to theCUBE. We've got Beth Phelan, President, Data Protection Division from Dell. It's great yes. to have you back. Yes. And Sherrod Rastugi, also welcome back. SVP Thank of you. Data Protection Product Management. Guys, lots of news the last three days. Yeah. 15,000 or so people, a lot of partners. We've been hearing nothing but tremendous amount of positivity and also appreciation from your customers and partners for all of this collaboration, both mm -hmm. within the Dell Technologies mm -hmm. company, with partners. Some of the news though, Beth, mm -hmm. you were on the keynote stage yesterday. Yeah. Give us some anecdotes that you've heard from customers and partners the last few days about where Dell Technologies is going. Yeah, I'm happy to. And you know, our big announcements this week were PowerProtect software and the PowerProtect X400 appliance. And what we're hearing from customers is this is exactly what we needed to do. Because the demands on data protection are changing with more and more workloads being distributed, with data being more and more important, and with the risks being more and more prevalent, that they were looking for us to take a bold step and introduce this next generation um, software defined platform. And so the feedback we're getting is you've done what you needed to do and they're looking forward to learning more. So I wonder if we could sort of explore a little bit this concept of data management. So data management needs different things to different people, Sherrod. If you're a database person, it yep. may, be, may be different from a person who's doing data protection. What does it mean in a data protection context? And I think, you know, first of all, you know, having visibility of your data all across your infrastructure, whether it resides in the edge, the core, the cloud, across multiple applications, you know, physical, virtual environments, right? So having full visibility of the data, I think, is one component. Second is sort of the ability to move that data across, seamlessly across any source to any target, whether it is on-prem, in the cloud, private cloud, I think that's sort of a second element. The third and probably the most important is how do you actually get value from the data, right? How do you actually not only are able to protect it, but make it available at the right time, right place, for the right application and be able to use it? Because as you know, data is the fuel of the modern digital economy and making it available is really, really critical. And that to me, so if you're combining all of that is what I would consider data management to be. So double click on that. I mean, can you be more specific about the attributes of you know, a modern data management system? Yeah. So I would say you know, any modern technology needs to be modular, API driven, uh, you know, ability to sort of automate scale, performance, coverage, all those attributes I think are very important for any modern uh, data protection product. And be able to meet the needs of our customers you know, at high scale, uh, high coverage, uh, you know, and, and rapidly, right, so. And that gives you a cloud-like experience, presumably allows you to s scale out linear performance. I've seen some of the conversations and yeah. charts associated with that. Yeah. Or scale in place, Beth, you talked about that yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, you do both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I want to explore a little bit about your business, because, you know, who knew, who would have predicted a few years ago that data protection would all of, become, all of a sudden become this hot space, VCs diving in, mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars being spent, and of course, you're the biggest player. Yeah, yeah. So everybody wants a piece of yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. your hide. Yeah. Um, and so, and now you got a, a portfolio that goes back all to the Legato days, the Avamar stuff, yeah. the data domain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you had to sort of make sure that that was logical for your customers, protect those customers that have made investment yeah. of you, but also show them a roadmap. Yeah. Jeff Clark comes in, says, okay, we're going to simplify, you know, marching <laughs> orders. Your business in a very rapid time has yeah. transformed. Can you talk about that, what's, what's taking place in your business? Absolutely, David. It's so interesting, even comparing last year to this year, right? We are at this pivot point where we're building on the legacy of trust and IP and knowledge and experience that we have, but we're now setting the foundation to be number one in data protection and data management for the next 10 years. And so by introducing this new set of products, we're able to bring our customers forward. We call it the path to power. 
So we, in, in addition to that, bring new customers into the family who are looking for all those aspects of modern data management with simplicity, with multi-cloud, with automation, and with the new use cases where it's more than just backup. It's PCDR, it's analytics, it's test and dev, it's validation. So there's this whole spectrum of things that we can expand into now that we have this new platform. It's really exciting. It is exciting, and yesterday the Under Armour video was yeah. very cool, and yeah. one of the things that they said in there is that they're, they're leveraging data for brand reputation. Yes. I mean, yeah. they've got, Under Armour has incredible brand ambassadors, Tom Brady, Steph Curry, yeah. but looking at it as not just a business driver, but this is actually tied to our brand reputation. Yeah. Data is so incredibly pivotal to the yeah. lifeblood of a business, yeah. it has to be protected. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big theme, I mean, you probably have something to add too, but you know, in this day and time, data is no longer something that maybe people in IT worry about, right? It is now the lifeblood of most of our customers' corporations. And at the same time, risks like the threat of malware are very prevalent. And so things like what we've done with cyber recovery are ways we're working with our customers to protect their data. In a survey we just did with 2,200 IT professionals, 28% of them had had some data loss in the last 12 months. So the risk of data loss yeah. is real, and we take our responsibility very seriously to help our customers protect from that risk. So, so I like this messaging, any source, any target, any SLA, I, I, would, I would add any workload. I mean, yeah. you guys have been, yeah. and, and, and so, uh, talk about your differentiation yeah. in the marketplace. Yeah. That'd be great to, because it's hard sometimes, you got to squint through all the marketing, and yeah. so what makes you guys different specifically? And I think, you know, Dell EMC in data production historically has its strengths in dealing with complex workloads at high scale, with high performance, and having a wide coverage of workloads, right? That's been a strength, and actually at very low cost, very efficient, right? So that strength, we sort of carry on into the future, and what we're adding on is, I would say, the next degree of simplification and ease off. Ease off, install, upgrade, use, making those workflows very, very simple, right? So I think that's another dimension we're adding on. We're adding on a dimension of what we call multi-dimensional scale, which is both scale up and scale out at the same time when you actually add more nodes and more cubes, you add not only add capacity, but you also improve performance, right? Yeah. That's a, architecturally a fundamentally a different way in how we approach it, so I think that's an element of innovation. And I think on performance, we're introducing our first all-flash appliance, industry first, and so we're super excited about that, and so I think it just helps our customers you know, in terms of restore, instant access to restore, you know, do those workloads a lot faster. So those are some other elements on which we continue innovating. That's great, yeah, so you talk about the PowerProtect X400, which is the all-flash. John Rose said something on stage, Beth, I want to ask you, to sort of add some color. Okay. He said, this is not just secondary storage, it's protected managed infrastructure. Huh, um, wow, that's a great phrase. What, um, what did he mean by that and what should we take away? I mean, it shows how we're broadening the use cases that these products can help satisfy. And so much of what we're talking about, Dell Technologies, is a simplified infrastructure across the board, not thinking about just point products, but giving the customer that experience of a um, seamless, extendable infrastructure. So protected managed infrastructure means that your infrastructure is something you have can confidence it's protected and that you also are not just dealing with all these pieces and parts, but can think of it as a managed whole. Um, I, I think that that helps. I haven't talked to John about that, but that's what I take away from what he's saying. If I can just yeah. add to that, I would say like, you know, data management is sort of the perfect glue across yeah. the whole yeah. Dell well technology said. infrastructure, but the servers, storage, VMware, you know, HCI, you know, the infrastructure, pivotal, right? Data management, data production sort of cuts across everything and we can bring everything together, so I, I see that. I mean, I'd like to add something to that if I yeah, may, because yeah, as course. you know, Beth, uh, and Sherrod as well, data protection backup was always, oh, hey, we got to back it up. Yeah. Uh, who's going to, uh, okay, boom, yeah. bolt it on. Yeah. Yeah. And what's happening is the lines are blurring yeah. between yeah. primary storage, secondary storage, you're seeing backup and DR use cases. You yep, talked yeah. about analytics. Yeah. I mean, there, you know, there's so many new emerging. That's why it is so exciting. Yeah. And so, because those lines are blurring, you get more value mm -hmm. out of the system. It goes beyond just insurance. Yeah. And um, that means this 
could be a lot of money being made here. Yeah. There, there is, and there's also a really important need, right? Yeah. One right. thing that we haven't touched on, but I also think it's really important is, with Power Protect, we're helping combine self-service with centralized governance. So what I mean by that is if you're a VM admin or, a, or an Oracle admin or a SQL admin, you know, you can have control over protecting your data, but we pair that with a single, you know, governance model. So if I'm the person who's responsible for my company's entire, you know, data set, I can still make sure that everything's happening as it should be and there are no anomalies. So we're really making it as easy as possible for the businesses within our customers to protect and manage their data, but not making it the wild west because somebody in the end is accountable for saying, I know where all the data is and I know it's protected. So we're serving both of those users. So as data protection has really elevated, as Dave was saying to Bikem, it's way beyond an insurance policy. This yeah. is absolutely table stakes because data has so much value and so much value that organizations haven't even been able to extract yet, right? Yeah. How has the conversation within the customer base changed? It's not just to the admin girl or guy anymore, right? This is, are you seeing this really leveled up to maybe a senior level, C-level challenge as our business imperative that this data must be protected and readily accessible at any time? Who are you talking to? So uh, I'll answer quickly and then I'll add to you. When we're talking to the IT decision makers, so CIO, uh, you know, that level, data protection strategy has become something that they have on their priority list, right? It's not really in any way what it was maybe five or 10 years ago, now it's something that there's core to what they hold as their responsibility as executives. And, and that's great, it's great to have those kind of conversations because it's strategic. And another conversation, just an example from yesterday, I was speaking with one of the chief architects at a major a company, they're really talking about cybersecurity. Yeah. And how do you use, extend you know, what we offer into a full solution across Dell technology to address, you know, uh, address the use case, right? So I think it's expanding beyond just backup and protection to true protection of the data where your most mission critical data is available. And not just protected, they also want to talk about how can you recover that real quickly in very quick time so that you're operational when you do have that cyber, if and when you have that attack, right? Yeah. So I think it's just expanding to touch a lot more uh, customers, I would say, or people buying, buying decision makers across the company. So Beth, when I talk to people in the division, I sense a renewed energy a renewed focus. I mean, EMC before Dell, Dell EMC, have always been really good at taking engineering resources and getting products out to the market. Yeah. Um, but but I, I see, again, a, a more focused yeah. effort here. And one of the things I'm going to keep pushing on is this notion of cloud model. So beyond just, okay, there's a target, how do we now get to that you know, data protection as a service model? I know that you're working toward that. I know, it's, you know a lot of that's it's early days there. But you've got to be a leader in that, I, I presume. So I'm going to keep yeah. watching that, pushing that. I wonder if you guys could comment yeah. on well, your thoughts there. Well, I want to comment here. on both things that you said. First of all, there's absolutely a level of excitement and focus and confidence in what we're doing in the product groups. And really changing the way we're developing software so that we have you know, new customer value coming out every quarter and that we're having clarity between the top level strategies right down to what individual engineers are working on. So that's fun and exciting because yes. we are truly transforming the way we're developing product. So that's point one. And the second one, absolutely, you hear that theme throughout all of what we're talking about. You heard it on day one. You know, giving people that cloud-led experience, infrastructure as a service, which certainly includes data management and data protection, so that they can consume it in a way that fits their business, that scales with their business, that's automated, um, that doesn't require you know, massive manual steps, and is more what people expect today, is a cloud-like experience, even for their on-prem data centers. Clearly, that's where we're, we're moving. And just one more point is, you know, people really want automation. They don't want to have to think about, did I remember to protect everything? They want the system to do that for them. And so you'll see more of that from us as well. You know, how are we helping them with machine learning and AI and automation so that they can have confidence that all of their assets are protected, even if they haven't remembered to do it all? Hmm. I mean, I'll just add to it, I've been at uh, Dell EMC for about a year. Yeah. It's been a fantastic journey. Uh, we're innovating, it's exciting. Uh, it's been an awesome, awesome experience. So yeah. I totally see the focus yeah. really yeah. driving. And, and I think that renewed focus, the, the, the cloud-like model yeah. and the innovation, they all go hand in hand because the old waterfall model of, oh, okay, we're going to develop probably a shipment every year, 18 months, whatever it is, yeah. that doesn't fly anymore. No, People want innovations, yeah. you know, they want to push code every day, right? So, or maybe yeah. every quarter at least. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 Yeah, stuff. and it brings a new energy to the engineers as well. So. Yeah, so I, mean, I understand that many of your team, if not your entire engineering team, has been trained 
in Agile. Is that, am I Absolutely. getting it right? Is that Absolutely right? Absolutely too, yeah, yeah. And not, just, and not just like internal training. You guys brought in outside people and mm -hmm. kind yeah. of really took them through some formal training, right? We have in multiple different kinds of training and we have lots of communications inside to give people coaching and it's not just a process book that we're following. It's really a different way of thinking about how you bring customer value in small increments, staying in a good known state, and making sure that we're maximizing our engineering capacity. Mm, right. that, yeah. And that's big, and I wish we had more time, because that's cultural change yeah, yeah. that you guys are really driving. And, I, and we also didn't have time to touch on partners, but I can imagine there's a lot of excitement yeah. in your huge partner community about what you guys are doing. It, but it is. Congratulations on all the announcements. Yeah. We're just going to have to have you back because there's just so much more <laughs> to dig into. But Beth, Sherrod, thank you for joining Dave and me this afternoon thank on theCUBE. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank Our you. pleasure. Yes. For Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from day three of Dell Technologies World 2019 on theCUBE. Thanks for watching. <laughs>